Hey guys, charging my phone. All right, so I just got back yesterday from a flight attendant trip. It was a three day trip and it was so many legs and so many hours and I was exhausted that I did not vlog. Guys, I did not vlog that trip. When I get back from a trip though, I unpack my suitcase. So I just kind of have to like go through this, get my dirty clothes out of there, get it set up and ready for the next flight. But right now I'm also going through my flight attendant bag here, my red tote, because I always have, I always just stick the most like random stuff in here. I've got like dollar bills flying. I always lose my hair pieces. So I took these out. Somebody was like, oh, I need a, um, a rubber band. I was like, oh, I got one. She's like, why do you have so many? I'm like, cause I literally like lose them. So I have to pack every different size. Oh. So guys, definitely have my business bun here ready for the gym. So I just wanted to also come on here really quick and talk to you guys before I started this vlog and just say thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much to everybody who voted for me for the Shorty Awards. I got an email, it was like, not yesterday, but it was the day before. I made it to the finalist. So in my category for travel, there was a bunch of like people nominated and they picked the final, the finalists, the top six from each category. So I still have like major competition. <laughs> but so it's next month is the ceremony or the award show. And I'm like dressed in my gym clothes. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta keep hitting that gym, keep working out, try to drop a few LBs. I'm gonna be like out there. <laughs> um, Bart's gonna go with me. He's like, ooh, what do I wear? A tuxedo? I'm like, babe. It's Manhattan cocktail attire. <laughs> He's so cute. He's like, I'll get my tuxedo clean. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'll die. <laughs> but you guys, I posted on my Instagram, I posted on my Twitter, and on my Facebook page to vote for me. And so many of you guys I saw every day were voting on Twitter and then would message me on Instagram saying you voted. So thank you guys so, so much. It was so awesome. I like could not believe I read that email. I'm like, oh my God. All right guys, so today is Friday. So my favorite part of the week is coming up. Weekends, I get to hang out with Barty and Franny and we get to be home as a family. Today though, Bart is home. <laughs> okay, gnarly glare from these crazy windows over here. Ooh, look how bright I turn. It's a beautiful, beautiful day in New York. So Bart is working. We won't bother him. He is home, working from home, kind of sick. And he's like legit sick. He's like sneezing a lot. What are your other symptoms? Congestion. Congestion, sneezing. Headache. Congestion, sneezing, headache. Uh, fatigue. Fatigue. And muscle aches. And muscle ache. Oh my gosh. That's so sad. You guys, I got back from my trip and Bart's like, I'm sick. I'm coming home early. I'm like, oh no. I made cabbage soup. You guys, I made this like really good cabbage soup yeah, last night. Some. What? I, I know. I should heat it up. This is what my cabbage soup looked like. It was so easy. It was like cabbage, spinach. A little bit of tomato paste, that's why it's this color. A little cayenne pepper, give it a little kick. Um, it was really good. I will link that recipe down below because my friend, Kelly, if you guys saw my Instagram story, you guys saw that I was at Voodoo Donuts with Kelly in Portland in the middle of my trip. <laughs> my trip was a three day trip and my first night I laid over in Portland and so I called her and I was like, dude, I'm coming over. I'm coming over <laughs> and she was like, let's get Voodoo Donuts. Or maybe I said, let's get Voodoo Donuts and she just went along with me. <laughs> I had a Captain Crunch Voodoo Donut. Anyways, so I was like, okay, this is like no joke. Now I have to really get back into like working out. Bart said he was sick yesterday, so I was like, I'll make some nice cabbage soup, healing powers, and yeah, so that's where we're at. Just a little soup for you. <laughs> Wrong one. It's this one. 
every time I'm like thinking about going to the gym, I always sing that Fergie song. Ah, been the gym, just working on my fitness. Who's my witness? Or he's my witness. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. I ain't gonna act like I am mad. No. When you call me over just so you can make it worse. I ain't gonna lie on my way back. So I am rocking the side ponytail for this workout. Guys, and a ton of you were asking me what workout program I was using. Body Boss. It's a 12 week fitness program. Like every day of the week, it kind of shows you like exactly what to do. And it's got like a huge like Instagram following and um, yeah, I'm not sponsored by them. They have not reached out to me. I bought this bad boy on my own here. I really like it because it just, it tells me exactly what I have to do every day. It's like, okay, today you're doing this, tomorrow you're doing that. <laughs> Working away. Guys, here I am again with my face mask. And I had so many of you guys ask me what face mask I was using and what, if it was good or bad or, or what. So I was using, this is the face mask that I used last week by the brand The Ordinary. And at first I wasn't sure about it last week. I was like, um, I don't know, I don't feel too different, but my skin, was like insanely soft. It was so soft and it looked so clear. The next day I was doing my makeup, I was like, wow, my skin looks so clear and nice. I am like loving this. I'm obsessed with this. Guys, definitely moisturize after this mask. <laughs> this mask does kind of dry you out a little bit, I think. So right after I did it last time, I put moisturizer on and it helped. And I'm putting like a ton of moisturizer on now. It has been such a lazy, hazy day. It's like five o'clock. <laughs> Me and Bart never made the bed. So we're probably gonna just make a little dinner and probably watch a few episodes of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Are you guys watching that on Netflix? <laughs> I'm like obsessed with it. She is the cutest, quirkiest, little thing it's called crazy ex-girlfriend there's three seasons on netflix so of course we're like binge watching it it's adorable you guys are so funny i literally read all your messages you're like i'm not brenda but blah blah blah, blah. i hope you find brenda brenda where are you so this past weekend i had a trip i had a three-day flight attendant trip and i was flying i think from portland to Oh gosh, focusing on my background and not me. <laughs> I was flying from Portland to Dallas and there was a girl on my flight and she came to the back of the plane and she was like, hi, I'm Brenda, I'm interviewing. I have my face-to-face -face interview today in Dallas. I've watched all your videos, I'm a subscriber. And I was like, oh my gosh, nice to meet you. She's like, do you have any last minute tips for me? I'm like, oh my goodness, sweetie, you just stay right there. Let me give you all my knowledge, let me pour everything into you. So I literally, me and the other flight attendant were just sat back there with her for literally like 20 minutes. And we were like telling her everything she should do for the interview. We were like, okay, when you get there, make friends, you know, get people's numbers so you guys can like still be in contact and see what happens after the interview. And we were just literally filling her cup with flight attendant knowledge. And she was the sweetest, cutest thing but I didn't get any of her contact information. So I had no idea what happened to Brenda. So <laughs> on Instagram today, I did a whole Instagram story of help me find Brenda, where is Brenda? And now I'm also saying it on my YouTube video. So I hope that Brenda either emails me, DMs me, or lets me know what happened. So we invested so much time into her. And when she got off the plane, we all took a selfie, like the whole crew and her, and then she was going, going straight to her interview. So I was like, I really want to know what happened to Brenda. <laughs> Don't you guys want to know? Now everyone's going to want to know what happened to Brenda. <laughs> Babe, you just keep changing positions. <laughs> so I think we are going to watch I, Tanya. Yay. <laughs> I want to watch the documentary. There's a documentary. We're trying to decide what we're gonna watch for Friday night, and Bart wants to watch this documentary. Of course. Of course. 
on like a financial institute and I want to watch I, Tanya. Well, I really want to watch Coco or Wonder, but I think we both agreed on I, Tanya. We just ordered Indian food from Seamless, so that should be here. We ordered it a little while ago, so that should be here in a little while. And this is our Friday night. This is our Friday night. Friday night. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Franny, don't yell at people, sweet pea. Food delivered, woo, Indian. Chicken tiki masala. Oh my gosh, you guys. When you were kids, did you used to always look at the back of the cereal box when you were eating your breakfast? We should start using our dishwasher. Good morning, guys, good morning! We are not making breakfast, even though it's Saturday, and we normally like to make breakfast on Saturday, because we've got a big, busy day planned, and we kind of just want a quick breakfast, and we're gonna take Franny to the dog park. That's his absolute favorite thing to do on Saturdays. There's so many dogs over there. Why are you washing the dishes with this like thing open above you? Oh, I don't know. Like, why is that open? I'm not even sure that it's open. Such a good husband. We had a lot. I can't believe they broke. You guys, look. My brand new crate and barrel dishes, Bart put it in the microwave for what, less than a minute? Yeah, there's like no more pieces. Oh my snapped. gosh. Nope. I, I what know, did you do? I didn't know we're not supposed to put that in the microwave. <laughs> right? They don't say not microwavable. Huh. Guys, here are the plates. Dishwasher and microwave safe. Avoid high pressure water, high temperature, and aggressive detergents. So that plate should not have broken, babe. Yeah. So. Pack. <laughs> Pack the plate. Bart just said we have to go back to the stop sign plates. <laughs> These are from CB2. These are not stop sign plates. We are going to take that dish back to Crate and Barrel. We were going to go to Crate and Barrel anyway, so we're going to take it back and be like, this broke in the microwave, not okay. And I had to special order those plates. Back to the stop sign plate. Bubsy. Do you have your coat on? Are you ready to go? Do you have your coatsies on? Okay, we all got our coats on. Oh, there's still snow. I know, it's gross snow. <laughs> this beautiful day. I love it. Franny's getting ready for the dog park. Look at this ship museum. Me and Bart have yet to go to it. It's on our list. Sometimes this dog park is out of control, so hopefully it's not too crazy. I have my Invisalign in. <laughs> get it, Franny, get it. <laughs> okay, loner. <laughs> oh, good job. <laughs> Franny, you wait. You gotta wait, sweet pea. Wait. Okay. <laughs> I kind of let him go early. Come on. Come on. <laughs> this way. <laughs> we had to teach him to pick up the paper. Go. <laughs> Getting pretty, love? Oh, thanks for running errands. <laughs> Guys, I am obsessed with this poofy jacket. I literally bought this jacket, returned it because I was like, no, I cannot pull off this puffy jacket look. Then I had to go on eBay and find it because it sold out. I had to stock eBay. It was from originally from Anthropology and it sold out. And then I, instead of a medium, I had to get it in the large. So it's a little big. But I don't care. I love it. Bart makes fun of me. He says it's my, what do you say? What do you call me? I'm part of the Night's Watch. But it's white, so you're not part of the Night's Watch. So I'm not part of the Night's Watch. Because yeah. it's white. Game of Thrones, you guys. Guys, we are in the business center right now. 
part is doing business on Saturday. All right. All right. Look, it's like our own like FedEx IKEA. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Are you saying it's pressed? But can it be done by Monday? <laughs> While I'm cursing your name, you don't have to feel bad. You're the person to blame. You guys see that? They're filming like a little something over there, minus the lift side. Oh. <laughs> I feel like there's always like something going on in the city. Like I've always seen people taking pictures, something being filmed. I see lots of vloggers walking around with their like cameras. I'm like, hey, what's your channel? <laughs> but anyways, I'm doing fine. I'm happy today. Trying to run from time or whatever tragedy ways. Like you guys, look how big Spectrum is. <laughs> When we moved, well first we switched cable companies because our other cable company kept going out and the internet was like off for four days and we were like, me and Barbara just like laying on the floor dying and we were forced to talk to each other. Just kidding. <laughs> but so we had to switch cable companies so we got Spectrum and then we had to return our old cable equipment from our old apartment and we got new cable equipment for our new apartment. So random, like why couldn't we just take it with us? Right? Mm -hmm. And then Bart just found out that he was paying on the old account and not our new one. So our new one is like almost um, delinquent. <laughs> so he's like getting it all figured out now. You guys, look how sunny it is. Ooh. Guys, it's such a beautiful day! It is nice out. It's so nice. I love it when the weather starts getting so nice and you can walk outside and not have to be in a huge coat. All right, guys. Just got to Michael's. We are picking up a picture frame. <laughs> Cute little puppy. Picking up a picture frame that we had. Picking up a picture that we had framed. This line at Michael's is no joke. <laughs> Frame section! <gasps> oh wow. That was so cool, you guys. Look. Mm -hmm. This was in the what? The, the, mar the Medina, the market? The, ca the Casbah or the, the Medina, yeah. The Medina market in uh, Marrakesh. Beautiful. The restaurant is crowded. What did you get? Greek salad? Ah. And I got a black bean quinoa burger. Guys, this is amazing. How's yours? <laughs> Like, Do I have anything in my teeth? <laughs> Do you have anything in your teeth? I don't know. <laughs> I took a lot of bicycles. Okay guys, so we just like randomly wandered into a vegan restaurant. We didn't even know. We were like, oh this looks healthy and good. And the whole thing was vegan. Bart had like a vegan Greek salad and I had a vegan black bean and quinoa burger which was amazing it had avocado and onions and like little chippy things on it it's great gosh you guys it is so it's so sunny i love it all right we are heading over to victoria's secret to get whatever you get at Victoria's Secret. Okay, <laughs> taking a subway over to Saks Off Fifth. My favorite, I love Saks Off Fifth. 
I convinced Bart to go there today because he needs dress shirts. Guys, these tracks are no joke. Like, they are really dirty. <laughs> Amazing, amazing handbags. <laughs> Woo! Uh, so Bart and I already split up. I was like, you go to the boys section and I'm gonna stay over here in the handbags purses. See you later. We're like in the center of times <laughs> We're in the thick of things. Only bad thing about getting home, but well, we're gonna go get Bart's haircut, is that we have to go through Times Square. <laughs> And it's like crazy over here. Oh my goodness. No. Oh, let me see your hair. Oh, let's see. Turn to the side. Let's see a model. <laughs> oh, yeah. That looks fresh. The freshness of clean. The cars don't stop even when it's our turn to walk. <laughs> All right, guys, we're done with all of our errands. <laughs> okay. Oh, goodness. Franny wants to go into another dog park. Guys, we are getting Thai food. Got our groceries delivered. Oh, my gosh, our apartment's a mess right now. <laughs> and ta-da! All right, we got tum yum soup, uh, vegetable tempura, chicken fried rice, and some broccoli. Ooh, it's healthy. Yeah. Have doubts? No. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning. So I wanted to give you a Brenda update. Hashtag find Brenda. She finally messaged me on my Instagram, and I would have never known it was her Instagram account because she doesn't go by the name Brenda on her Instagram account. It was like something different. <laughs> Francis, mom's trying to give a Brenda update. <laughs> so guys, Brenda messaged me and she said she did the interview. She wasn't quite sure how well or bad it went. Um, she said she was a little bit more soft-spoken than some of the other candidates. And I was like, yeah, sometimes it's hard to stand out in those flight attendant interviews. I mean, you have to be so like, hi guys, like just out there. If you have any flight attendant questions, if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. I will try to answer as many questions as I can because Brenda said she saw all my videos and she was prepping all the night before, but she still had like tons of questions. So if you guys have questions, always let me know. Try to ask me on Instagram, Twitter, on my Facebook page, or here, wherever, and chances are I'll see it in one of the four places. <laughs> All right, guys. Cheers. Happy Sunday.